everybody, welcome to already a 12th day. <laughs> uh, my name is Tina and I am in these beautiful offices from Chickendale in uh, Bali. So today we will be going from here and we will be talking about the web navigation today. Why do you even think about the web navigation? Well, if we will think about it first as a navigation on a Google Maps, for example, you always want to get from the point A to the point B as fast as possible and as easiest as possible. And this is the same thing which you want to provide to your customers on your web page. And if you will be able to provide the easiest navigation, easiest way on your web page for your customers, Again, we are heading towards a better business results, more conversions, more revenues, more potential customers. So that's the reason why we want the best navigation on our web page. And what does it mean, navigation on the web page? Well, I gave you an example with the Google Maps, right? So basically, you just need to take your customer. Imagine that you just take him as a partner by his hand, for example. And you just guide him and lead him through the web page as smoothly as possible towards the page or the place on your page where you want him to be heading, where you want him to finish. So what you should do for it? The first thing is the menu. It's, it always should be easily visible and clear that it is menu. For example, I know that it's quite trendy right now to use a hamburger menu, but on the other hand, it's not 100% clear that it's menu for everybody. Yeah, I know that the younger generation might be very clear about it, uh, but for example, on the other hand, the older generation, that might not be that clear. Or if you were too creative on your web page and you didn't follow the basic rules, like, I don't know, having a menu on the top, and you have menu somewhere in the middle or on the bottom of the page, web page that also doesn't have to be that clear for your customers. So creativity is cool, but you still should follow the basic rules uh, which are usually on the web pages. And these are the things that helps your customers to be more oriented on your web page. If you are having a bigger eShop, it's even nice to have a menu with this hover effect because your customers will directly see all the categories you have in your eShop. I know that I already mentioned it in some previous videos. Anyway, basically the customers do not want to think, the visitors of your web page, I mean. They don't want to think what they should do, where they should go, where they will find something. They are thinking and making decisions all day long, so they don't want to do it on your web page. That's the reason why you need to tell them where they should go, what they should do, where is the easiest way to reach some other page or the contact form, for example. So, and if they will actually have some obligation or if they will find some problems or something will not work or they will be lost on your web page, basically they will leave because they don't want to think, they don't want to pay attention like where they were before, what they need to do next. We need to tell them, so tell them. <laughs> the third thing which could be quite useful is to have pretty much on every page some action button or hypertext link. Why? It will help your customer to follow your lead to go to the next page, to go to the contact form and fill it, for example, or to go to some order and order some product of yours. Yeah, so check if your pages on your web page do have the action buttons. If not, it's quite easy to fill it in there. I always prefer to have actually just one action button in one place. What I mean, if you are having a web page, you have an action button, there should be just one, not you should not have two action buttons next to each other. Why? Because again, you are forcing your visitors to decide which action button they should click on. Yeah, and you don't want them to be deciding too much or actually not at all, if it's possible. 
if you want something from your customers, for example, to call you, you have to tell them. Just write on your web page, call us, text us, and they will call you and text you, or uh, uh, buy, and they will buy it. You know, because it's actually proven that if you will tell it to them, you've got the much higher possibility that they will actually do it. Because you see, they are actually listening to you. So just give them, give them these basic orders. <laughs>